Good evening, this is Steve, KI5JUF. Uh, tonight's video is kind of a hodgepodge, but one of the things I've been looking at is there's some discrepancy or some clarification I'm trying to get on the Yesu FT991A, and those clarifications are particularly on page 67, where it discusses the width feature, where it tells you that you can actually narrow the uh, bandwidth uh, and get more effective talk power. And that is on page 67, but on page 52 it discusses a second feature that I've also discussed is the narrow and wide, and it mentions that it only actually controls the FM. So based on my test tonight with KG5QH, that may be the case. So we'll let you listen to the video and stuff. Uh, the other thing tonight, more importantly, what I wanted to demonstrate was a setting called the IPO setting, which is the inner... IPO intercept point optimization and what that is that means you have basically an amplifier one an amplifier two and an IPO setting so this right here this kind of goes over it real quick but importantly this is what I want to show you if the IPO is active then what happens is these amplifiers are both bypassed if the IPO is disabled then you have the option to turning on amplifier number one and amplifier number two so that was the main thing tonight I wanted to show you uh, I'm about to, I'm about out of time on the video so I'm gonna to have to shut it down but uh, anyway the following video is kind of a mixture of stuff so I hope you enjoy it it's, it's not really a set format but I thought it would be fun just to kind of play around and do some tests okay so I hope you enjoyed the video from KF5 JUF we'll go ahead and run the video here for a moment what I'm trying to emphasize tonight is under the function menu you have a setting called width. Now what the width does is this uh, increases and decreases your bandwidth. So normally for example if I have a narrower bandwidth, for example 1800, my voice will be a little bit more crisper. But if I have a 3200 bandwidth, it's going to be a little bit more uh, acoustical, aesthetics and so forth. So the purpose of tonight's video is reading on page 52 uh, the manual states uh, that the narrow wide function actually only works in FM so I was kind of disappointed when I saw that because I thought well why doesn't it work on all the bands or all the modes listed on the uh, particular uh, page uh, on 52 or if you read on page 67 it discusses the, uh, the bandwidth and if you look at this here uh, if you actually have that set to 3200, if you look over here, of course it's at 3K, so it, it, it seems to track what the actual width is doing. So if I go back over here to uh, 2400 or 1800 and I go back over here, it seems to follow. But again, if you uh, look at the manual, it says that the narrow wide function only applies to FM transmit and receive. So I'm not so sure if that's correct. So uh, we'll go back over here to width and we'll go back over here to 3200 and we'll make a transmission real quick here. Is the frequency in use at 3200 Hertz? Is the frequency in use at 3200 Hertz? KI5 JUF. No one's hearing us out there. Let's try a little bit more narrow here. Now we're down to 1800, which will give us a little more talk power. Is the frequency in use? Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, 1800 Hertz. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. nothing going on out there. I'm going to put it back to 2400. Now we're going to clear it and I'm going to go back over to narrow and wide and see where it also at 2400 here. So it almost seems like this is actually tracking with the width function which is what I would expect but like I said when you read on page 52 it says you know if I pick narrow 
uh, or wide, it's it doesn't. The only thing that actually changes is the FM transmit and receive. So I'm not so sure if that's correct. So we'll hold back. Uh, I'll stop the video one more time and we'll wait for some more traffic. All right. Good evening, Steve. Again. So I've got my friend Steve KG5QH. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to run some tests. And I'm going to go ahead and start off at 30 at 2400, and I'll give him a check here real quick. KG5QH, this is KI5JU. If I'm uh, transmitting at five watts at a bandwidth of 2400 hertz. Okay, well you sound good. I don't tell any difference from where you were. Okay, now I'm going to go up to 3200. KG5QH, this is KI5JUF. We're now transmitting at 3200 Hz bandwidth. 3200 Hz. Well, yeah, I'm not noticing any difference on this end. Not right now, anyway. KG5QH, this is KI5JUF. I'm now transmitting at 5 watts at 1800 Hz. <laughs> okay, well that's kind of strange. So let's do this. Let's go over to here. Let's go back um, to here, and let's turn this down even more. KG5QH. This is KI5JUF. I'm transmitting at 850 hertz. 850 hertz. KI5JUF. Well, you may not, and my radio may not be transmitting, but I can definitely tell a difference on the receive. It's much more narrower, but um, I'm just wondering if the uh, the Yesu may not actually do this on transmit, which I would think it would, but uh, stand by. Well, it may, be, may be more different for transmit than it is for receive, but uh, on my end, uh, like I said, I'm not hearing a difference. Yeah, that may actually be the case. So uh, I'm going to uh, stand by. No, I'll, I'll sit down. Thank you. <laughs> KG5QH, this is KI5JU. If I'm transmitting now at 400 hertz, 400 hertz bandwidth, KI5JUF. That appears to be the case, so that's a piece of good information there, because definitely your uh, receive has become a lot sharper on those uh, other frequencies. So, well, that that's good. That's a good piece of information. We'll have to continue to research this. I was uh, thinking, based on page 67 of the manual, that this would actually uh, uh, change it, but uh, that's okay. So the second test I'll run real quick is I'm going to... Uh, demonstrate the three different uh, amplifier gain settings. One of them is called IPO, which is uh, intercept. Um, oh, uh, I'll have to look it up. It's IPO, and that means both preamps are actually bypassed. And then there's amp one and amp two. So what I'll do first is uh, right now I've got the IPO activated, which means both preamps are bypassed. So I'll ask you to give me a, a ten count, please. Okay. Here you go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I'm going to turn on amp one, which you see amp one is turned on. Okay, great, Steve. Thank you very much. That's good. Now I've got amplifier number one turned on. If you'll give me the same ten count, that'll let our audience hear what it sounds with. Uh, the preamplifier number one engaged, which has approximately 10 dB uh, according to the manual. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, he definitely came up. So now I'm going to go ahead and engage the second amp. 
Hello Steve, uh, KG5QH, this is KI5JOF. So the last test we'll do is I've got amplifier number two engaged and if you'll give me a 10 count on that we'll let our audience see the, the difference. Very good, Steve. That's great. You actually, uh, yeah, there was, uh, I think on the first, uh, without the amplifier, you were about an S7, and then an S10, and I think you were almost uh, tapping just an S20 on the additional pre-amplifier. Very good. Stand by. Okay. So that looks good. What we'll do now is the last test we'll do is we'll go to uh, Simplex real quick and we'll do a test. KG5QH? Yes, sir. Can you go to 146.520 real quick? Uh, yeah, let me turn that radio on. I got it turned off right now. Here we go. Now I gotta find the frequency. KG5. Alright, we're gonna QSY over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to hey, Hello, KG5QH. So this last test I want to do right now is I'm in uh, what's called uh, wide mode, which is 16 kilohertz. And I just wanted to give you a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This mode is in 16 kilohertz, which is referred to as wide. And uh, if you'll stand by, I'm going to switch to narrow and give you the same count. Over. Okay, go ahead. Now I'm going to switch to narrow. KG5QH, this is KI5JOF. We've now switched to narrow mode, which is 9 kilohertz bandwidth. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I will tell you that it sounds a little bit quieter. It's not as loud as the other mode is. Very interesting. So this, we'll have to check with Yesu on this. Apparently, the uh, according to the manual, it does say the narrow and wide does activate during the FM, which is uh, kind of follows what the manual says. Very good, Steve. Thank you very much. Uh, KG5 QH is Cap 5 JUF. Stand by. I'll go ahead and close out the video here and uh, just uh, stand by. Okay, All right, folks, so we got a little more information than what we had. Uh, it seems like that does seem to work. So, anyway, a little more information, but uh, like I said, this video is kind of a, uh, it's a, it's a mixed bag of things tonight, but I thought it would be fun just to kind of cover some stuff. So, anyway, well, I hope this was helpful. Uh, KI, I mean, KI5JUF, uh, 73 have a good evening I'll put it up and uh, like I said it's just part of the part of my, my concern is I was under the impression that the uh, that the width uh, actually uh, was effective or active on the uh, upper side band but it according to Steve you really couldn't tell much difference however on the FM according like on page 52 it does seem to make a difference so a little more information we don't have a solution but again we're just digging and testing and uh, Anyway, it gives you a chance to see us use the radio. So, this is Steve Calf, 5 jf Have a wonderful evening, and again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.